Howdy everyone, this is Mr. Kazi here with another chemistry lesson and today we're going to talk about valence electrons and Lewis dot symbols. In this lesson we will talk about valence electrons and Lewis dot symbols. You will need a periodic table unless you've memorized it. And remember this is your number one tool so always have a periodic table available. And you must know electron configuration orbital notation and the atomic models. Valence electrons. Now the valence electrons are the electrons in the highest energy levels and usually this is an S and P orbital. And so when you look across at your uh, different rows and you look at your uh, elements the valence electrons are those electrons in the highest energy level at that time and that's usually the S's and the P's and you have somewhere between 1 and 8 valence electrons. Valence electrons S and P's and there we look at the red that shows us what we're looking at and S plus the P's equals valence electrons. An example of this would be fluorine has 9 electrons. So 1s2 2s2 and 2p5. The second energy level is the highest energy level and 2 plus 5 is 7. So we have 7 valence electrons. Another example, how about potassium? It has 19 electrons, but if you find potassium on your periodic table, you'll notice that there is only one electron in the highest energy level and it's a 4s1. So 1 plus 0, there are no P's, and we have one valence electron. Now this is key to knowing how many valence electrons there are in an element because it's the valence electrons that bond. It's the valence electrons that are usually involved in chemical reactions and things of that nature. So we want to know our valence electrons. Did you know you can use the periodic table to find your valence electrons? First, find the row the element is in. Then, just count the S and P spaces until you come to the element. That's it. Watch. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. So here's our periodic table. One, two, three, four, five. Now that's where nitrogen is on the periodic table, and you'll notice it has five valence electrons. It's that easy. And the one and two are in the S and the 4 or the 3, 4, and 5 were in the P orbital. Lewis dot symbols. Now we know about the valence electrons. Once we know the valence, elect valence electrons, we can do Lewis dot symbols. And Lewis dot symbols are a symbolic representation of the valence electrons. Not all the electrons, just the valence electrons. And that means two S's and six P's in there. So, drawing Lewis dot symbols. X is any element symbol, and I'm using that just to represent all elements. And then we put them in this order. Because of Hund's rule, we fill in the S orbital first. Then we put in the first P, the second P, and the third P. And then we go back, because of Hund's rule, we go back and fill in the second of each P. Pretty simple. Now, Back up and go over that again if you didn't get it, because what you just saw is what drawing Lewis dot symbols is all about. There's the S orbital, the P orbitals, all together. Awesome. Fluorine. Let's do fluorine. F. How many valence electrons? Well, if we look at the periodic table, there are seven valence electrons. Just count them over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's place our electrons around. Pretty cool, huh? And you notice I followed the uh, rules there. All right, let's look at another one. Sodium. How many valence electrons? Look on your periodic table. It's number 11. And there's one valence electron. Just one. <laughs> there we go. Check. Nitrogen. How many valence electrons in nitrogen? Look. And you should have got five valence electrons. Two in the S. And then we've got one in each of the P orbitals. All right, let's review it a little bit. Lewis dot symbols are symbols of an element's 
valence electrons, and valence electrons are the electrons in the highest energy level, usually involving S's and P's. And we fill them just like that. And it involves an S orbital and three P orbitals. And notice it's usually involving eight electrons altogether. And that's going to be important to know uh, that it revolves around eight usually. If you have any questions, be sure to send an email to Mr. Kazi at MrKazi.com and check it out, MrKazi'sWorld.com, where you can get PowerPoint videos and much, much more. Or don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. Studies have shown that it increases your IQ. All right. Happy ions, everybody.